I'm Laura Rope. I'm here in the beautiful UK and I'm promoting my album, Girl Like This. She says, I think I'll go. The songs came to me uh, with different inspirations. They're about different things, but they're all a reflection in some way of my life, my experience as a woman, my experience as a mother, as a wife, as a friend. About the day. The single is a very special song to me called Float Away. And that song is a story about feeling overwhelmed. Uh, something that we've all felt, feeling like you can't handle what life is throwing at you. And it can be anything. I, the, the feedback I've gotten from the album is people who've had the loss of a spouse have emailed me and said, you know what, I listen to Float Away 50 times a day. It's what's pulling me through. Or people have written me who've had cancer and have written me the same kind of thing. Or it's just people who say, I've had a really hard time with a breakup. Hold on for one more day. So we went to Brighton to film the music video and um, shortly after we arrived I was able to meet my pretend husband, an actor named Joe Tucker, who played my husband in the video and did an, a very good job, and a little girl named Billy who played my daughter. And for me, this little girl Billy was so sweet because I have a little girl named Chloe um, at home who's mere weeks uh, younger than Billy, so they're just a few weeks apart. So I was very affectionate toward my faux daughter Billy because I really connected with her and was thinking about my daughter Chloe. In October of 2008, I was very shocked to be diagnosed with a very aggressive form of breast cancer. If I had not gone into the doctor, if I had not found the lump, I probably would not be sitting here right now. Uh, so I was very lucky. Um, I was immediately told I needed to do chemotherapy for many months and that I would lose my hair, which I ultimately did, and then I did radiation. So that was very scary to be told that your life is going to take such a drastic turn. But I did it. I did it, and I just sort of took it day by day, and I had a beautiful family and friends supporting me and I made it through. We're getting along quite well, quite famously, Rally. Don't want to leave you forcing me to go. Don't want to tease you, but you're making me say no. Where, what's the matter? Although it was a very difficult time, it was a time for me also in a positive way to figure out that I'm strong to figure out I want to be here, which I already knew, but in a whole new intensity. I want to be here. I want to be alive. I want to live. I want to live fully. And I have to make my life as full, as fun, as joyful, and as full of love as possible. I just want to sing a love song. <laughs> Take my hand, little daughter, I'll tell you what I know. Won't be around forever, but I hope to see you grow into a beautiful woman. With a song I wrote for my daughters, Sophie and Chloe. Sophie's nine and Chloe's six. And I, you know, like any mother, I dream for my children. I want them to grow up and I want them to be confident and strong and have beautiful lives and I want them to be good people and contribute to this world we live in and so I sat down to write a song to them and I was thinking to myself wow if someone told me okay you got five minutes five minutes left on this planet and you have to leave something for your daughters to know what to do in your absence what would you say and it just poured out of me the song was written from front to back 
lyrics and melody, everything, all in about 15 to 20 minutes. Another song on my album that I wrote is called Fly, Fly, Fly. And this song, I really like it because I remember exactly why I wrote it. What happened is I went to the grocery store, which I don't know if you use that expression, but it's like, you know, your food market. And I was over by the apples, and this guy who worked at the grocery store came over, just out of nowhere, approached me, and he worked there, and he said hello, and I said hello, and he said, you look good, and then he walked away. And I thought, you know, maybe that should have creeped me out, but actually, I, you know, I'm of a certain age, so I thought, all right, sounds good. And then I went home, and I went for a run, and on my run, the song Fly, Fly, Fly came to me, and the first line originally was, there was a man in the grocery store today who told me I look good. And I sang the whole song to my husband, and he said, you know what, a grocery store is really not that cool. It should be a record store. So, after that, the song starts. There was a man in the record store today who told me I look good. I was wearing angel wings and flower charms, and he said he understood. with my music all over and trying to spread my music and spread my part wherever I can because I feel now that I have more of a mission and also if there's people out there who are going through what I've been through or have any other kind of hardship I want to set an example that if you just wait and if you're strong and if you just carry on and do your best then the sunshine is around the corner she's doing just fine if she lights a candle drinks a glass of wine she can float float away